What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Tour Drift on the mobile platform for today. Taking a look at the new sponsor tree and some other stuff in the game. We got some crates to open, so we're gonna have a good time. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll have you found in the description box below. Torque Drift Tuesday, we're back on the mobile platform. Let's get sideways. <laughs> So like I said, we are going to take a look at the new sponsorship tree, and a lot of people have been asking about it. So it is definitely different when it comes to the specialized challenges, like the, the four challenges and stuff like that. You just need a specific car to run these to be able to get those. It looks like those last for a while, or a Mazda challenge. So I'm definitely going to be taking a look at the Mazda, and I'm going to be using probably the MX-5 or uh, the, you know, Mad Mike FD to take care of some of these Mazda ones and as for the normal sponsorship tree it's kinda like the same as normal so I did complete this it's very simple but so we are working on the least custom one which objective is a get a drift combo of 25,000 without canceling a drift at the slab so you can do it in practice or an event that's a good thing it tells you where you can get it so we got to do that four times. So we just got to start reading it, start working on it. But we're going to get into that another time. So the sponsor tree is definitely different. Going to be getting a lot of stuff from it. So we're going to work our way through that here in more episodes. So today we have some crates to open from a bunch of challenges. And then we're going to get into sideways because I believe there's some other FD stuff we can do. So we do have our M4. If you guys remember, I did have the M4 here on the mobile. We got the body kit, Harvey 26 in there. But we have 18 crates to open. 18 sponsor crates to open which we'll probably get a bunch of tires and money. So we're going to open these up before we get drifting. And it looks like we got some brakes and some gold, which, you know, we always could use some gold. And uh, I didn't have those brakes, so that's good. Oh, look, there's the tires and there's some money. So we are starting getting some of the, well, tires and stuff like that. We don't need that intake because we already have it. So sponsorship crates don't really get too, too much. It's the FD crates and the TD crates that get you all the good stuff. Like the cars and good parts and all that kind of stuff like that. Some gold and some more tires. I think we're just going to get mostly golden tires. Which, I guess it's not terrible because we can use gold to buy parts. But I don't need that many tires. I have more tires than I know what to do with here on the mobile. And if you guys notice up top, got the golden tag. Evil Rabbit 07 here on the mobile device evil rabbit on pc did flip him around so if you see evil rabbit 07 that's me especially if you see the m4 so just some gold some money and things of those natures nothing super crazy oh we got some nice wheels though i will definitely take those we're gonna probably throw those on the car I do like the way those wheels look what do we got we got some brakes which we probably would have and we have an ECU, which we already have an upgraded ECU from that. I think run in import, mostly import parts bands. So, gold and money, definitely good. So, if you know it's sponsor crates, not the best. But, we gotta open them. Two sets of tires. Fail. And money and gold. I mean, money and gold is good. If I can get money and gold out of all of them, I'd be super happy. But, unfortunately, that is not the case we did get money for that intake because we already had it it's the only good thing about opening a sponsor crate sometimes oh some more wheels i think we have those wheels already nope nope we did not we can sell the wheels they come back with a pretty penny more tires yep always need more tires not some gold and intake all right fair final crate and some money and some tires surprise surprise more tires all right well so that's that we're gonna go take a look at the parts store see if we can upgrade anything on the m4 before this one ends out what do we got we got anything good what are we in I believe we're in yep import import do have pro we do a pro we see use do pro suspension hmm 
We're going to order that pro suspension. We're going to let that sit. We're going to let it sit for 23 hours. Don't really need it. So let's go take a look at some of the challenges for today and get sideways because that's what you all want to see. So we have Ebzu West Challenge and we have an FD Irwindale Challenge. We're going to go to FD Irwindale and see what we can do. What is the challenge? The challenge is 35 in the chase. We're going to try it with the M4. Not sure if the M4 is going to be up to par enough to compete. But we're definitely going to give it a shot. Yep, I'm getting left by Alec Hondale's car. Not even in the tandem circle. There's the tandem circle. Yep, nope. M4 is definitely not going to cut it for this chase challenge. So we're going to have to switch up to one of the pro cars to be able to keep up because I don't have any cars on the mobile that has that much power. So, I also got to remember it's Irwindale, not Cali Bank, where, you know, we loop around. So we're going to go back. We're going to switch up cars. I'm trying to think what I feel like running. Uh, Matt Fields' car? We'll take the drift vet out. Matt Fields here on Irwindale. And that heat wave Falcon Tires Corvette. I probably should start in third gear. Yep. <clears throat> Rip on my part. So we're starting third gear. Do we have to start in second gear with Matt Fields' car now? Did they adjust how Matt Fields' car drives? Okay. Okay. All right, torque drift. Got you. Oh, I didn't want to do that. No. There we go. A little bit better. Not in the chase circle right away. Oh, I didn't give him room to transition. But we kind of, oh, sucked back into it. So, that feels this car. Not going up to par right away either. Hmm. Maybe we're going to throw down that Mazda. Maybe we're going to pull out the Mazda gang, pull out the Rotary gang with the Rad Bull. Or the Humble. I'm thinking we're going to try the Rad Bull first. And see where we're at. I'm going to drive El Condor's car. There we go. Rad Bull. We're going to try Rad Bull car. Hopefully we'll be able to get a better jump with this car. We start in third. Or second. Kicking in the third. Fourth. Okay. Alright. That's what we need to do. But we need to actually initiate. And I think we need to go into fifth gear. So we're going to start in third. So this was a better car to launch forward on this. Much louder of a car. Third and fifth. Oh, yep. I think the Rad Bull is going to be the car to get this challenge done with for me today. As long as I cannot smack into him in the start. I mean, we can push on Alex Thor. <laughs> 27, so if we don't smack into him on the start, I feel like this would definitely be the car. But we need to get some... Did it say 4 challenge complete? Or is that... Do you not need to drive? Alright, I think I may have just... So you don't need to drive a Ford in order to do that. So let's go take a look back at that sponsorship tree. Because I know a lot of people weren't asking, and I'm still trying to figure it out as well. So let's go take a look real quick, because it looks like I got something on that. Ah, so it, you don't have to do anything. You just... Ah, uh, so apparently you just do it in anything, and this is just a four challenge. So 200 door dive times three. Win five freestyle events. Okay, no wonder it's so big. But it says requirement forward. Did I just glitch the game? Hmm. Well, we're going to go send it again in the Red Bull and see if we can't better that and actually complete this challenge. Starting in third. Kick it up in the fourth. In the fifth. Feather it back a little bit so we don't smack him on initiation. Would have been like to been a lot closer to him and the wall. But we managed to somewhat stay in the chase. 
Kind of the same as last time. If it would have been closer to the wall, we definitely would have had that for sure. So we're going to give it another go. Having a little tasty beverage here for today's episode. If you guys are sipping on something interesting, let me know down in the comments. Adult beverage, not adult beverage, some water. You know, whatever you gotta do. Stay hydrated, stay safe. And it's quarantine times. It's definitely cool to be back here on the mobile platform because, well, if you guys know, oh, my drifting on a controller is not the best. So I was not doing the greatest when it comes to the PC version right now. The mobile, but we get down on the mobile platform. Oh! Once again, I smacked the wall and was not where I wanted to be. So, 35 seems like a very reasonable amount until you actually start going. Then you realize you gotta be like on his door, on the wall, otherwise it ain't happening. So we're gonna give it a couple more tries here. I feel like we can get it with the Rad Bull. I feel like this is our best option right now. <clears throat> right now, excuse me. Okay, that's kind of what I wanted to do. Getting those close call points. Flick it back. Over rotate. Mm, over rotated. That would have been it. That would have been the money run. So if you guys want to keep seeing the mobile version, let me know down in the comments. I know that you guys probably missed the mobile version. So a lot of you guys still play the mobile version. So we here, we back, we on doors. Oh, so glad the front bumper of the MX-5 was much shorter than that. Um, uh, that's not gonna do it either. How many more tries do you think it's gonna take? Let me know down in the comments how many more tries you think it's gonna take because I don't think I'll get it before the end of the episode. I'd be very curious what you guys think based on what you're seeing. How many more tries do you think it's going to take me to complete this challenge? And I will uh, let you guys know if you're right. Unless we get it this time. Ooh. This looks good. This definitely looks good. We got it. 35. We got it. So if you guys guessed this episode down in the comments, you were right. 35, we got it with 38. So we did complete that challenge. Two more sponsorship crates unlocked. So let's take a look at the other challenge. I feel like the MX-5 is kind of my uh, my fun car right now. Definitely liking how bad Mike's car drives. So let's go take a look at the other challenge and uh, see if we can't get that one. Hebezu West challenge. This one is a tricky one. I've tried this a few times and have gotten nowhere near getting any of them. So if you guys, let me know what cards you use to get this challenge because I am struggling to get this challenge completed. This is not my best track and I lose in there and then I kind of fall out here and I transition too early there and then I can't seem to stay in the door enough to get up there in the points because 23 does not seem like a lot when we can't even get 13. So tips would be very you know useful for me on this challenge because I can't get it. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter all of which are found in the description box below. to try it one more time. Early initiation, staying up with him, a lot of handbrake, a lot of clutch, clutch kick, and fell off again. So I think that'll do it here for this episode here on Torture on the mobile platform. Make sure you guys follow me on social media. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I will see you guys on the track.